Good morning, people. Well, wasn't yesterday's video a bit uh, spicy? I knew it would happen. That's the whole point in YouTube. If you take anything literally serious on YouTube, then you're absolutely stupid. But um, I did the title thumbnail to get you hooked. And that is what YouTube is all about. People have commented on me and said that my shop is rubbish and all this. I, this is your final warning. If you abuse my actual platform, slate my own eBay shop, you will just get banned, blocked, and you will not be able to troll me ever again. Right? So you'll have to find somebody else to troll. I don't pay one bit of attention about what any of you idiots will say. Reason being, you're just letters. And that is it. You are just letters. You have no proof of anything you say. And when you do come out and prove it, I asked a couple of people yesterday, prove to me that you are this person. Go on, send me your eBay shop. Let's see all your sales and all this lot. And guess what? They don't come back because they got no proof. They're those people who are think they're know-it-alls. They probably don't even do reselling. They probably sell one thing a week. Because in the end of the day, why would somebody come and watch my channel just to abuse me and say I'm rubbish when they're so successful? When you're successful, you praise other people. You try and motivate other people to be successful like yourself. You don't put down people. So... To you people, that's your final warning. You say anything bad or negative on my channel again, you will get reported and blocked. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the video. And guess what? I'm going around some charity shops today. Not loads, only two. The reason being that is one charity shop is having their 10th anniversary and they're selling everything half price. So I'll be stupid not to go. The other one is getting a load of new stock which is from the golden bear factory which is a producer of toys they get loads of things donated all brand new and i've bought some stuff from them before i'm thinking about if it's good stuff i'm just going to clear them out and buy every bit of their stock if it's cheap enough and i can sell it for a profit why just buy a few when i can just buy them all and also it's a dog charity and that means a lot to me they save dogs from getting put down but before all that at half nine, I got to pick up some dinosaurs I found on Facebook Market. Four colossal dinosaurs. She wanted £10 each, which is still very good. But I said, can you do a, a better deal? And she says, 30 quid. And I went, yeah, I'll have them. So I'm going to pick them up in a minute. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be going to the charity shops. Just collected the dinosaurs. Wow. A couple of decent ones there. Um, well, they're all decent. They're all, you know, colossal dinosaurs. All in really good condition. I don't know if you can see them. There they are. Got one of them um, Diplodocuses or whatever you call it. Got the Carnal Carvonius, I think it's called. The one with the horns. It looks like a bit of a T-Rex. Uh, big version. I got a... I don't know what the green one's called. Um, but there's also a, um, a dark T-Rex as well. So, yeah. You're looking around 30 to 40 quid for each of them. Um... Toys are a bit slow, it's the start of the year, but you know, um, they do sell. I have sold quite a lot of these abroad as well. I just feel like in certain countries they don't get stuff like this. Um, so yeah, they all go. And for 30 quid for four big dinosaurs, when one of them will um, sell for 30 plus anyway, so all the rest of them will be free. I've just came to the charity shop now where they have in their event. Um, it's about 15 minutes until it opens and I can't see anybody hanging around. Usually, when there's an event happening or a sale happening, it'll be swarming because you're gonna have the resellers there. But for while I'm here, I had a few sales last night and I thought I would tell you them. I've sold one of my dartboards, the one that's not new for £22.50, I think. It's on the screen um yeah paid five quid for that so nice little profit there i've also sold a care bear with tags on it's only small for 14.99 i think i only paid 50p or a pound for that maximum um 
and I sold a Wii U Mario Bros game. Picked that up from a charity shop for a quid and I sold it for 10. Somebody gave me an offer of 10. I thought, yeah, I'll have that. Also, I sold one thing on Vinted. Um, I sell brand new pull and go Hey Ducky toys, you know, cars. Um, a free pack, all brand new. Got loads of them from the charity shop I'm going after um, when they were selling a load of new stuff. Um, one woman says, I've got all the others, but I need that one. Can you sell that separately? I went, yeah, what do you want to pay for it? She goes, oh, can I buy one for three quid? And I went, yeah, three quid. So she bought one for three quid. They only cost me like 50p each. So, you know, that one car I just paid for f um, four or five of them cars anyway. So, yes, a little profits, but they all mount up. I've got tons of them. So, yeah, nice little bits of profit there. Hopefully it carries on throughout the week now. But yeah, let's go into the first charity shop and see what they've got. See if they put some new stuff out. Five quid, that'll be two pound fifty. PG field. 150, that's all. Six, that'll be three quid. Nice, warm jumper, very nice one. There you go, a big bag of uh, stuff. Nothing special at all, um, probably. 50 quids worth of uh, stuff I could probably sell on. Um, there wasn't really much in there. Probably items worth around the 14 to 20 pound mark. But when you're paying only a quid for something, then, you know, you're going to take it, you know. And I can just sell it quickly on Vinted for like 10 just to get some money. Um, but yeah, we're on to the next charity shop now. This is the one I'm looking forward to the most because hopefully... The, they've been given some really cool toys um, which can sell for a lot. So let's get there and see what they've got. Morning. You got any stuff? We haven't really priced it yet. And yeah. Two we brought down and someone's having them straight away. Oh, them, yeah, I've seen them. So it's like it's like dinosaur central in here. It is like the real life of Jurassic World. Um, got loads of dinosaurs, and obviously I picked up some more. Still got a few wheelchairs and walkers. They'll sell eventually. Uh, just took some pictures of this one. It's quite a nice little one. I've just uh, been having a just been having a row with somebody on Vinted. Little scammer. For £3.50. I don't know why I was arguing with him. As soon as he got it, I got a message saying, Oh, it's broke. One of the players snapped. It was a set in the Sabutio uh, set where I got, like, a couple of weeks ago, where I got the big Sabutio Man United set and a, a Aston Villa set, but two of the Aston Villa players was missing. That was the one I sold. I sold it for £3.50 because it's worth nothing. It's worth absolutely nothing to me. If I could have got a couple of quid, I got a couple of quid. Anyway, he said that one of the players that's been snapped is packaged rubbish. It was in a box anyway, and I'd bubble wrap around it and then in a plastic uh, poly bag because that's all it needed. That's what I did with the Man United one, and that one's fine. But this one sells. He's a seller on Vinted selling Sabutio. And what a surprise, he came back and said, oh, one of the pieces is broke. And it is broke, yes, one of the pieces is broke. So I said, well, you're gonna want a refund then, aren't you? Or you're gonna send it back or whatever. Um, but I did package it right. And he obviously knows how to play a game. He probably scammed loads of people on there, little gimp. And he has got no attention of sending it back, even though it's three pound fifty. It's probably a lot of money for him. Um, and I said, "Well, I'll knock off thirty-eight p for you. Three pound fifty divided by eight players works out at thirty-eight p a player. So I'll refund you thirty-eight p 
he didn't have none of it. He says, I'll send it back. And I went, let Vinted deal with it then. Vinted came back saying, the order's been cancelled. You're not getting a refund. And they don't have to send it back. And he obviously knew about that. I never knew about that. I thought you always have to send the item back anyway. I want the item back. Little, oh. <clears throat> so I just messaged him saying, well done, you got a freebie. And he says, yo, you packaged it wrong. I said, no, I didn't package it wrong because I packaged the Man United one at the same time. And that one's fine. Just another con artist. So, oh, so tempted to just buy something off him and then just break it and say it's broke. Just to, just to, oh, in, it, the, the people like that shouldn't be allowed to sell because they're a the scam artist. Obviously, why would he buy um, some Aston Villa players, which isn't full anyway? He's obviously got some and he's missing either the box or he's missing the few players. So I guarantee soon he'll put that Aston Villa team on with a bundle or with something else. And when he does... I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. So, <laughs> old Liam Neeson taking him. Um, but like I said, you're going to get that. So after that little argument, which wasted about half an hour of my life, um, it's made me hungry. So I'm going to have something to eat and then I'll show you what I picked up today. So before we finish off the video, I just sold something. So I thought I'd tell you about it. Just sold this on Vinted for 30 quid. This cost me £2. And yet again, another sale on Vinted. eBay. I've sold a few things today, but it's still dead. You know what? Hopefully it'll turn back around. If it don't, then I might quit. Or will I not? Or might I? We don't know. Anyway, as you can see, I've picked up some dinosaurs. Um, oh, get the guns out. Still got the guns, but um, yeah. I picked up four dinosaurs and I've got a bit of a problem. The three ones at the back, it's a T-Rex, which is a bit of all more expensive than the rest of them um, because it's a darker version. We've got a green one. I can't I can't remember because they've all they all be ending us. So that's the only thing I know. We got a Carn Carnvorius, I think it is. I've got a smaller version of, and then we got like a, a Dipagocus or, um, or Brancosaurus or something like that. Yeah, that's the only one's gonna have a bit of trouble because it's too long to send away. It is long. I mean, literally long. Look how long it is. I mean, it is one big beast. Yeah. To send that away, you're looking about 40 quid. And no one's going to pay 40 quid postage for that. So I'm going to put that on Facebook Market. Even though I just bought it from Facebook Market. Put it on Facebook Market. Put it on like gum trees, Stuff like that. Um... I'm going to put it on eBay as well as collect, collection only, but um, yeah, they're all worth about 30 quid each, except for that one there, he's worth about 40 quid. Packaging on them's fine, it's just that one. You cannot pull the tails off them as well, as soon as they click in, that's it. You can't take them off again, so bit of a problem. I wish I'd never bought it, but like I said, she wanted 40 in the end. I knocked it down to 30, so in a way, that one's free, so yeah. Works out about £7.50 if I do that or this big one is uh, free. So, I'm going to make some profit. If I sell them all for 30 quid each, that's 120 quid. But I also did pick up a big bag of stuff. It wasn't that good today. I was really hoping that I was going to pick up a load of toys, new toys, and I was going to pick up some half-decent clothing. I wasn't expecting to find decent clothing. Um, 
because I took it all last week. That Arsenal top and the Mercedes top I picked up from the one that was half price sale. So I I wasn't going to pick up that much, but we picked up some okay stuff. Um, so we picked up this first, which is a mountain where Gillet. It's all right. It's nothing wrong with it. Mountain wear is an okay make. There's nothing wrong with mountain wear. You know, very popular make. Uh, it's an XL as well. Nice blue, in good condition. Could do probably with a wash, because it does smell a bit um, charity shoppy. Um, so I'm probably going to stick that through the wash. Um, but yeah, you're looking around twenty quid, twenty five quid. That's how much these things go for. And we're in England, so yeah. It's raining all the time. So I paid five quid, so it was five quid, so half price, £2.50. I actually, at the shop, they had the regional manager and she asked to have a photo with me. Not because I'm famous, uh, because she wanted to stick it on their website. So I took a picture of me doing this with one of the people that were there. This is a Megazord um, from obviously Power Rangers. It, it does work because you press the button. It's time to defend the grid. Yeah, anyway, it was four pounds. So I obviously paid two pounds. You're probably looking 10 to 15 quid for that. Power Rangers stuff is very popular. Um, most seem to sell for about 12.99. So I'm gonna put it on for 12.99 because it works, got batteries in, and it's in, it's in really nice condition. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Also, I picked up this, and it's a Disney Paris um, Mickey Mouse. It's a big one as well, in really good condition. He has got a bit of a hole in his pants where he must have farted or something. But um, yeah. Nice little thing, you're looking around 15 quid. They sell for about 15 quid on eBay. Not bad little buy, £2.50 that one cost me. Then I saw two jumpers. I know it's coming to summer and that, but I thought, let's try these out. I've never bought this make and I'm not gonna probably buy this make because they're not very, not selling very much. PG Field, I mean, it cost me £1.50 and I'm thinking, quick flip on vinted maybe for a fiver it's worth about a fiver that's how much this one sells for um you know knitted acrylic so that's why it's cheaper because it's acrylic it's not wool if it was wool it'd be worth a lot more but yeah one pound fifty quick sale on vinted maybe for four or five quid but the one I did want was this, and I knew this one had to be worth a little bit more money. And it is the same make, PG Field, but it is a cable knitted jumper, like a gunmetal grey colour. Really nice, really nice. Um, but you, you just, you, people on Emmerdale wear this sort of stuff, don't they? And it's a large, so it's a good size. This was £6, so obviously I paid half of it, so £3. And they... I've sold for £18, so need to get that on ASAP before it gets a bit too hot and it doesn't sell. So it should sell, there's no, no reason why it can't. And then finally, I got one more thing, and that was from the other shop where I was hoping there was gonna be lots of toys for me to buy. And I was just like in a mood, so I was like, Let's go and have a look, see if there's anything. I'm not gonna buy anything if it's not worth it. And I stumbled across a nice little Callaway waterproof um, pullover. It's a size medium, but you know what? Size medium, women golfers, kids, you know, not everybody's like big sizes. Um, you're looking around the £20 mark for this, so I paid £2. You know, you're not going to leave this a Callaway um, top. You don't, don't leave any sort of golfing stuff behind if it's two quid or under, because golfing stuff is so, so expensive to buy. And Callaway is like the Ferrari of um, makes when it comes to golfing. So, yeah, really nice. 
it does smell like granny pants but um yeah give it a wash and easy sell so that's really all i picked up today so yeah not really worth going out i, I should have stayed in i mean obviously i love my dinosaurs i have got too many dinosaurs to think about um what i'm gonna do is everything i have is gonna be listed and i'm gonna sell it um i might undercut some people um this week on actual these dinosaurs so you know mine's the cheapest um but what i'm gonna do is anything like this when I, it comes to around around june time um start of july i'm going to a car boot and these are all gonna go i know how much i pay for somebody at a car boot will pay 20 quid for one of these if it, if it comes to that stage then i'll sell it for 20 quid each but Hopefully I'll sell them before then and make a bit, a bit more money. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, thank you for everybody who commented nicely yesterday on that video. I think it's got about 1,300 views. It just shows you might not think I know anything about reselling, but I know how to get you to click on my videos to get some views. So that's that helps me out. That helps me out, you know. Um, I am going to do a video about how much I get paid on YouTube. If anybody's actually thinking about doing it, how much like a small YouTuber, because I am a small YouTuber, gets paid. Because you'll be surprised how much I do get paid. Um, I haven't took any of it out. It's all stored into YouTube, like a bank account thing at the moment, um, until I draw it out. And eventually, I could possibly pay for all my stock every month by just my YouTube videos and that's what I want to do. I'm growing and growing and growing and it's all to you guys. And I just want to say thank you to all the people who are subscribed. If it wasn't for you lot then, you know, I spent years doing YouTube as a fitness person and I, um, I didn't get nowhere because you have to look a certain way, you have to be on gear to actually be a proper YouTuber on fitness. And then I came across obviously reselling and I put my side of it like I did on my fitness videos and some people seem to like it. I'm not fake. I speak my mind. Um, heart on my sleeve. I try and help out as many people as possible. I'm not saying I'm professional. I'm not saying I'm a pro. I'm not saying I know everything. But like I said, from now on, uh, if anybody does say anything bad you're just going to get blocked I don't care who you are I don't care if you watch my videos because what is the point is somebody coming on my channel just to mouth off at me try and put me down or what I do and then you keep on watching my videos so one you're either just a troll you just get um, um, turned on by saying things like that and you really need to get a life. So I'm giving all of you who do it one more chance. This is your final warning. So anyway, thank you for watching. There's a car boot on tomorrow. I know I'm, I'm still spending, aren't I? But it's, it's nice outside at the moment and it's on. So I might go to it. Uh, you'll find out tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.